Hi there. Uh, welcome to the How to CAE, where we dwell on a particular topic um, in SAP GTS, and which which can uh, help you. So uh, here's one of the topic within SPL screening. This would be the part three. We saw offline screening in the first part. We saw how positive and negative lists play a role in the second part. And over here, I'm going to show you uh, how the deleted SPL records can can or cannot impact your overall screening. Okay, okay. So uh, all the sanctioned body records which you get from MK, so you you get it as an uh, XML file. You load them. Uh, you load. I mean, that would be normally ten thousand or twenty thousand how many hour records you load into the system. Every record is assigned with the validity date. Valid from and a valid to. I mean, uh, so these, uh, I mean, MK, they uh, they collect all the data from the various agencies, and uh, once they identify a sanctioned body, they attach a date to it. Some records can be infinite, like till 12.31.9999. Some records can be, I mean, let's say there, there is a labor, child labor organization, which is being deemed as sanctioned, only for a certain amount of time. They are they are sanctioned, nobody is supposed to do business with them for three years. So that's where the validity date comes to the picture. So you would create a SPL master record and you would attach a date to it. So your SPL screening, when you screen your customers, vendors or any of your business partner records, you want to screen against the sanctioned body records. You, you, there is an option which, which allows you to uh, say whether the validity date, whether you want the validity date to be impacted, meaning if you want the system to consider the validity date or do you want the system to ignore them. So uh, I mean it's, it's all driven through config and uh, I mean GTS also gives you an option where you can mark the uh, records to deletion status. Like after, after they are uh, finished their validity, the system can automatically uh, uh, have a deletion indicator set to those records. And there is also another option where you can include those records or you can exclude those records. So all sorts of combination is possible the way you want the system to work. I mean, it, it depends on your business. It depends on the system. I mean, some of these can play a vital role in how your business community would like the system to do the SPL screening. Also, it can play a vital role as far as uh, the system performance is concerned because SPL is one area where uh, it takes quite a lot of uh, workload uh, from the system. Uh, so I'm going to show you an example of how a deleted SPL record uh, plays, uh, no, um, plays a role in, in how the SPL screening is carried in the system. So. I mean, also there are standard reports in the system which can let you know what are all the expiring SPL records in this week and today, this month, this year, all those are standard reports. So let me get into the system. So I mean, I go to my main menu, SPL screening, I go to my master record, over here you see something called display expiring function party list. I go here. I just say what are all the SPL records which are getting expired today. So I just click today. Oh, nothing is expiring today. Let's see what's expiring tomorrow. No records. So what's expiring this week? No records. I'm sure you see some records over here. There you go. As many as three records are expiring this month. It could have expired or it must be expiring the next few days. Let me get into this record. So this record belongs to a particular SPL list, GSA. And if you see, it's valid from July 15th of 2013 to July 15th of 2016. So it's been sanctioned only for three years. So beyond this period, it's all good to go. If there is a vendor or a customer which matches against this record, then uh, it would not be impact. I mean, Right now, the way uh, this is our test system, we are running GTS 11 service pack 4. 
the way we have set up the system, we 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 want the SQL screening to consider both these dates, valid from as well as valid to, meaning anything which has been screening within this period, then uh, I would uh, I would consider this. If if it's outside this range, then it would play no role. So if I take uh, if I take the same so this is my SQL record. I take the same name. So let me try to that in GTS. There is something called as simulation. So I'm going to I'm going to try to simulate uh, the screening of this record. So I'm going to give the same name, exact same name. I'm going to give the exact same address. And the way I've set up the system. I mean, as I said before, I I want the Validity date uh, to be effective. So right now, if you see, it's already. I mean, it's July fifteenth of two thousand sixteen. So we have passed the validity date because I want the system to consider this date, and I'm screening as of now. It should play no role. So let me see. So I take the. See, it it released. If I would have screened within July 15th, this would have the system would have blocked because that's how I have configured the system. So the validity date can play a role in how my uh, uh, SPL screening has to occur. It's all driven through config. You can you can have the system consider those dates or you can just discard those dates. And and if if I discard them, then this would have been a potential match because I'm not considering the date. Uh, I can give one other example. So, if you see this, uh, this sanction party, this is valid from one one nineteen hundred to thirty twelve nine 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 nine. So basically, it's just infinite. This is. So I'm going to choose the same name. I'm going to try to simulate. Oh, there is no address. So let me take. I'm going to. I'm going to screen. See, it's a match because uh, this name belongs to. Uh, SPL, um, SPL number ending in four zero nine nine. See, four zero nine nine. So it return. It it came up with this. Uh, Potential match because I'm considering the validity date and the SQL record is still still active. So that that's an, a quick demo of uh, how the validity date validity dates play a role in the SQL screening. Uh, these are just small tricks to help you understand uh, some of the nuances in SQL screening. Uh, continue to watch our uh, uh, how to series where you would be benefited with. Uh, uh, features in the GDS system. Thank you for joining us. Bye.